Hello YouTube, Beanie from the bedroom here, you guitar junkie. One take Beanie, I don't know what I'm doing. Did I leave anything out? So, uh, my drummer, my old drummer called me up today. I haven't spoken to him in a while. Bandana Bob Reich from Long Island. <clears throat> awesome drummer. And uh, he was going, we were going on and on about things and he said, um, you know, like, you know, every time we played, you were always a gear head and you always like with different guitars. And, you know, I told him uh, I, I go through more guitars than I go through changing my socks and underwear, <laughs> getting new socks and underwear. I should say I don't wear the same socks and underwear every day. So um, kind of uh, inspired me to <clears throat> say, hey, out of all the guitars I have now, what are the top three if I was told you've got only three guitars <clears throat> to keep, one of each different style, what will it be? <clears throat> so, I'm going to go with my probably most expensive Telecaster, my 70s, um, I don't even know what they call this, uh, Deluxe something. I think it's, uh, forget the name, but it's the old fashioned three bolt strings through. It's got Fender written on the extra wide pickups. This is my Leo Paul because it's like a Leo Fender and a Les Paul together. <clears throat> three way Targo, volume tone, volume tone, and something about this, I, I guess it's mocha colored. I don't know. I really, I don't even know what kind of wood it is, but it's it's got some weight to it. Um, this would be number one because I grab it all the time, and it's just something about you know the old uh, maple necks <clears throat> from the 70s um, and the large headstock that I'm just uh, I'm just attracted to. I like the way it sounds. I like the way it plays, and it's got some kind of mojo to it, as would be. Sorry. My second guitar, which is an LP style, Les Paul, but it's not a Holly Benton. It's my Bad Cat. This has stainless steel, uh, no, titanium frets. They're smooth as silk and tiger maple uh, veneer top. Um, zebra pickups on it and uh, you know, this is just an amazing guitar, whatever it is. And I, like I said about before about this guitar, I've played reissues uh, 59s. Other than the reissue 59 being a little bit fat here and then going back down to narrow, this is almost equivalent to a couple of reissue 59s that I played. And I just beefed it up. <clears throat> I just took the standard, you know, Bad Cat, which these are like almost hard to get now, um, and I just uh, I just put locking tuners on it, and uh, change the pickups and change the knobs. You know, um, they've got speed knobs on here, uh, pots, uh, nickel size, and um, this guitar just it's got again it's got the same kind of mojo. There's something about this guitar that just brings playing out of me that um, just drives me crazy I just I'll pick something else up and then I'll try to duplicate what I just did and it's gone it's for whatever reason it will come out of one of these two that I've just shown you and the third one if I had to pick for a Strat I would pick the Holly Benton Strat on steroids so this is the Super Strat from Holly Benton, and um, <clears throat> these go for like three ninety five. And where else are you going to get a Stratocaster with a uh, Tiger Maple top, an original Floyd Rose, two humbucking open pickups, coil tat, which back in the eighties everyone wanted to have and put little toggle switches, but I don't find a need for it. Three way on a baked Carmel or roasted flamed maple neck and fingerboard 24 
blacksmith stainless steel frets smooth as silk just like the titanium with Grover tunas the Grover tunas and the Floyd Rose alone that's the price of the guitar um, it's almost like I said before you're paying for the Floyd and you're paying for the tunas and you're getting a guitar for free I finally have this thing <clears throat> set up exactly the way I want it it's been staying in tune and you know it's something that I would take anywhere and enjoy playing it, get what I want out of it, and not have to worry about it. I think down the road, what I might do is uh, change the pickups because uh, the pickups are just okay. But everything else is sweet on this guitar. So, <clears throat> it's gonna be my last video for a while. And um, why is that? Because I have to go in for a fifth surgery on my shoulder and um, this whole thing so many times I've had it done and it's going to be worse than ever before and I'm going to be out the longest I've ever been out for and um, it's going to be a nightmare. they got to remove the titanium rod that's in here now, put a new one, take that one out of the bone, put a new one in, they got to put a uh, reversed um, in my socket and then make the two compatible with a ball joint and the, the joint that's going in the sh shoulder socket uh, gonna be you know working together so that's gonna be a nightmare and um, no I'm not looking forward to it at all so what I'm planning on doing is I mentioned this on an earlier video this is my new X um, horseman golden I keep on calling it golden horses but it's my new X horseman um, overdrive pedal this is a clone of the Klon um, Cintron uh, it's got gold and silver because they came out with a gold one it came out with a silver one this has two on one this is a, a, a clone of that and all you do is you, you push down on it to turn it on. You push down and hold it to turn on the light on top. Then you have silver and gold together. Push down to hold it. It turns off the silver. Click it once and it turns off the gold. So this pedal, that's the settings that I've always had it on right there. Um, um, output is always at 9 o'clock. The trem, 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 uh, tremble, trouble, <laughs> tremble, trouble, is um i don't know it's uh yeah it's like a quarter of a turn from off and i went three quarters of the way at three o'clock on the overdrive um and this thing just sounds great but it wasn't compatible with other pedals on my board um especially the uh the, the vintage um phaser pedal that i enjoy keeping on my board i took it off and we're sticking with this. Uh, it has like a low, low kind of hum to it. But with the uh, phaser pedal, I had a buzzing noise that was just terrible. And it was the, the pedal. And if I ran it through a three-way daisy chain, or if I ran it separate, um, AC, it still made that noise. I found that some pedals, because of buffers, and some pedals need direct power, some pedals if you give them too much power with a direct AC power, um, it's too much juice into them and they make noise. I finally figured everything out on that end. So my plan is, is I think I'm up to like 350 something uh, subscribers. <clears throat> and anyone that is a subscriber now, um, if they can get someone else to subscribe, and they leave a comment that, uh, yes, I subscribe to your channel via so-and-so. I'm going to write their name down. <clears throat> and then if that person that subscribed, um, I'm going to write their name down. Any new subscribers from here on in and here, or here on out. <laughs> and uh, anyone that can get someone else to subscribe to my channel and have their name mentioned. I'm going to write all their names down and... Uh, 
put them on strips of paper and do that old uh, you know lottery thing and pick a name out of the box and um, at the end of it all uh, hopefully by the time I hit let's say 400 subscribe no yeah 400 subscribers um, I'll pull a name and I'll uh, you know they could instant message me somehow with their address and I'll send them this pedal and I still have the bro the box for it free of charge <clears throat> to their house so <clears throat> that's the whole story in a nutshell this is me in a nutshell Woo. so yeah <clears throat> um, this is being posted on Friday I believe the 6th and my surgery is going to be on Monday the 10th Something like that. I got the numbers wrong. But it's going to be next Monday. This will be posted this Friday. Um, and that's it. So, yeah. I'll be, I don't have any... Normally, what I did the last time is I made so many videos. I, Even though I couldn't do anything, I would post a video and upload it from, uh, my, ch my, my, from my channel. From the private to public. And none's the wiser, but... I don't have anything, uh, I don't have videos put to the side like I did before. And um, like I said, this is going to be a nightmare. The last time I, I had it done was just uh, a couple of months ago. And the, what I went through on the fourth surgery kind of makes me, you know, a little worried about this one because... <clears throat> When I went in, you had to deal with the blood test and the COVID and everything else like that and uh, get tested, you know, before you go in, do this before you go in, get the information before you in. They want to know what prescriptions you're on, you know, stuff like that. And then when I finally get in there, it's later in the afternoon and they, they don't want you to eat 12 o'clock the night before. And if I don't eat, I get a headache. So we're looking at, you know, it's one o'clock, almost two o'clock. At this point, I'm still waiting to go in and get operated on. And I asked the nurse, I, you know, can I go to the bathroom? You know, how, long, how much longer is this going to be? So she says, yeah, you know, I'll walk you to the bathroom. I got some kind of IV hooked up to me already. And um, so I go to get up. And because I've been laying down so long, you know, I, what I do is I, I, I bend on my ankles and I crack my ankles. Um... So the nurse gives me a giant bear hug, and I'm like, what are you doing? And she's looking at me and says, what are you doing? Like, are you going to give me a kiss? And she's like, no, I thought you were going to fall. I said, oh, I'm just cracking my ankle. She says, oh. I says, do you, you really think you were going to support my weight? She says, I was going to try. So, you know, here, let me hold your gown that's wide open where your butt is sticking out to everyone that's in beds waiting to be operated on for whatever, this, that, and the other thing. And uh, I go there. I come back, lay down, and, um, you know, um, I'm going out down the hallway. Now it's my turn, and I see my doctor, and he's uh, stretching and yawning and, you know, like shaking his head like to wake up, and I'm going, oh, my God, how many operations has he done already? Am I the second? Am I the third? <clears throat> he's tired. He's, you know, he's going to fall asleep. You know, what am I going to do? I'm going to wake up, and I'm going to have something, you know, sewn inside my shoulder. You know, they take an x-ray. Oh, yeah, by the way, we left the tool in there. We got to go back in. I was shit in my pants. I was very nervous at that point of what's going on with this guy. And um, we go in, and they're like, okay, you know, do the whole thing. Start counting, you know, backwards the whole bit. And before you know it, <clears throat> a couple hours later, I wake up. My family comes in to see me. And um, I don't know what's going on. You know, I'm kind of like... In the days, everything's kind of foggy. And um, they stay for a little bit, and then they leave. And, you know, time's going by, and I'm starting to drift off. An hour goes by, I'm starting to drift. They come in every 15 minutes to check your vitals. Every time, just before you go to fall asleep, they come in and check your vitals, wake you up. So <clears throat> sometime throughout the night, I hear, it's about 9, 10 o'clock at night, I hear, Hello? help like outside my window I called the nurse and I said uh, 
yeah, there's someone outside my window. It sounds like there's someone outside my window. She says, well, there's a roof right outside your window. Maybe someone said, let me check. It opens and she's looking around. I don't see anyone. And then I, I, I hear it. I hear, you know, hello, help. I go, there it is. There she, she goes, oh, oh, that guy. And who else is going to be saying Ho, hello, help? He's repeating himself constantly. Oh, yeah, well, he's in a couple of rooms down from you. He's got dementia. He doesn't know that he's in the hospital. Um, so I'm like, you got to be kidding me. You know, like, that's, that's going to go on all night? And um, she's like, pretty much, I says, can you give him something to put him to sleep? You know, a sleeping pill, a tranquilizer, you know, something. No, no, we can't do that. So at that point, I've got to uh, go to the bathroom, and they don't want you to get out of bed. So they bring a little Tupperware urinal for you to pee in. I've got one arm, you know, to pull everything down and do it in the bed was tricky. And I have to ask the nurse, I got to, I got to pee. You you can't get up. You got to pee in this. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to help you. <laughs> oh, no. So <clears throat> she pulls everything down, the blankets and pulls everything up. And here I, I'm looking down and I'm thinking, what happened, man? I've got like, I'm, I'm looking at, uh, 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 what I remember as my, my penis when I was like nine years old, like a, a stump. I'm like, whoa, what happened to that? <laughs> she's, she's like, it's it, it's all right. You know, I, I, it's normal. I, I've done this before. And I'm like, she's thinking it's normal to help someone urinate in a container. I'm thinking it's not normal. Where's the rest of my penis? But, you know, <laughs> he was sleeping. Did he cut something off? So she's holding it. I'm peeing. Most uncomfortable freaking thing in the world. I get done. She rinses it out, puts it on the, the, the tray next to me. And uh, I hear, hello, help. I says, what can you do about this guy? You know, and um, she's like, oh, uh, you know, I, we can't do it. Can't you just, can you have someone sit in a room with him? So every time when he he realizes he's, he's you know, he's, he doesn't know where he's at, you can tell him, calm down, you're in the house. It says, he's waking up the whole floor. Uh, it's nothing we can do. I want to choke this guy out. So, um, you know, uh, the morning comes. Between the, the every 15 to 30 minutes, uh, vitals being checked. And this guy screaming, hello, help, down the freaking hallway. Um, they bring in breakfast. And, uh, you know, it's liquid. I'm like, can I get something, you know. No, it's it's all jello and stuff like that. And, and apple juice and, and like soup with nothing in it. So, uh. They bring it down, and I didn't even ask for it, but I'm, I'm starving. I'm like, can I get something real, something, you know, real food? Oh, we don't know if you could handle it yet. Well, I'm like, handle it? They leave, and I'm like, how am I going to open this stuff with one hand? You know, the jello is in the cup, so I'm, I'm biting it and trying to peel that off. The uh, soup is in, in a cup with a lid on it. If I could flip that. The other the other thing, um, I got to peel that open, with the, and I'm like... They just leave it for one one guy with one arm to do everything. So, you know, needless to say, by the time my family actually came, um, uh, they were like, okay, you know, the doctor wants you to stay for a couple of days. And I'm like, look, do I have to stay? Because uh, I got to leave. I says, I can't, I, I didn't get any sleep last night. And um, if I'm going to stay here tonight, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to go down to the hallway and I'm going to carry my little cart with my IV. I says, and I'm going to put a pillow on this guy's head, and I'm going to, I'm going to suffocate him. I says, and uh, you're going to, I'm going to be charged with murder, and you're going to have a dead body on your hands. I says, what can I do to, to get you to sign me out of here? I says, uh, you take, would you, I, I honestly said this, would you take 50 bucks? I give you 50 bucks. And she just looked, you know, like at first, you know, she thought I was kidding about, you know, putting a pillow over the guy's head. I was dead serious about it. Not that I would have did it, but if you push me to the point, that, that could have happened that night. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, when I said, I'll, I'll give you 50 bucks, she's like, oh, he's serious. I'm like, okay, I'll make it 100. She's like, let me see what I can do. And uh, I got the hell out of there. So um, that was just, that wasn't half as bad as what the fifth one's going to be. So... Uh, I'm just, I'm not looking forward to it. I never worried about it. I never, and 
it doesn't pay to worry because you can't do anything about it. What's it it's not going to help. But I'm not looking forward to it where the other times I didn't care. Do whatever you got to do. Send me home. Don't tell me what you got to do. Just do it. Now that it's been, you know, uh, explained to me numerous times and knowing that I'm going to be dealing with the same crap I dealt with before, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not too happy about it. So, <laughs> sorry that uh, I just looked at the time. It's like 24 minutes. So, uh, sorry that I, I nodded on about it. Um, I wanted to make it short and sweet. But, uh, so yeah, if you can get any subscribers, if you can get a new subscriber, to my channel and have them mention your name I'll put I'll put them and you in and you know I like I said I think I'm at 350 and change uh, if I reach 400 um, I'm gonna pick a name out of a hat and I'm gonna mail that this lovely overdrive pedal to you and that's it everyone so uh, you know if I don't see you no more in this world <laughs> I'll meet you in the next one and don't be late that's uh, have a good day and a better tomorrow.